What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's solve this math question that says find the value of x for which x to the 1 over 10 plus x to the 1 over 15 plus x to the 1 over 30 is equal to 84. Well our first step will be for us to simplify each of the exponents by making their denominators to be 30. The reason is because between 10, 15, and 30, 30 is the LCM. So this will be x to the 1 over 10 is same as 3 over 30. Plus, this will be x to the 1 over 15 is same as 2 over 30. Very good. Remember, we are making all the denominators to be the same, 30. So plus, this is x to the 1 over 30. So this is already 30. And this is equal to 84. Very good. Now, our next step will be for us to separate this. In other words, for 3 over 30, 3 over 30 is same as 1 over 30 times 3. And then for 2 over 30, 2 over 30 is same as 1 over 30 times 2. So that means this expression is written as x to the 1 over 30 times 3. Very good. Just like this. Plus... Now this expression, x to the 2 over 30 is same as 1 over 30 times 2. And then plus x to the 1 over 30. And this is equal to 84. Very good. Now from indices, we know that whenever we have, for example, a to the m times n, this is same as a to the m or raised to the n. Now we're going to be writing this and this in this form. So this will be x to the 1 over 30, now raised to the 3, plus this will be x to the 1 over 30, now raised to the 2, and then plus x to the 1 over 30 and this is equal to 84. Very good. Now notice that we have x to the 1 over 30 all around. So our next step will be for us to substitute by saying let x to the 1 over 30 be equal to y. That means wherever I see x to the 1 over 30, I'm going to be putting y there. So this expression becomes y cubed plus this becomes y squared plus this becomes y equal to 84. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to move 84 to the left hand side so that we have y to the 3 plus y squared plus y. And as 84 crosses to the left, it becomes minus 84. And this is equal to 0. And then simplifying further, we have y cubed plus y squared plus y minus 84 is same as 64 plus 16 plus 4. Very good. And this is equal to 0. Now, I'm going to be opening this bracket by using this negative to multiply. So we have y cubed plus y squared plus y. Now, using this negative to open up the bracket, we have minus 64. Minus times plus is minus 16. Minus times plus is minus 4. Very good. And this is equal to 0. And now rearranging together, 
this is a perfect cube so i'm writing a perfect cube which is y cube i'll be pairing it with negative 64 which is also a perfect cube so minus 64 and then plus y squared plus y squared so this is a perfect squared i'm going to be pairing it with a perfect squared which is negative 16 so minus 16 and then plus y plus y i'll be pairing it with minus 4 so minus 4 and this is equal to 0 and now simplifying further we have y cube minus 64 a perfect cube which can be written as 4 cube plus y squared minus 16 a perfect squared can be written as 4 squared plus y minus 4 and this is equal to 0. Now we see an expression in difference of two cubes. We also see an expression in difference of two squares. So for this difference of two cubes, this can be expressed as y minus 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 4 squared. Good. So this is the difference of two cubes. Plus, now let's express this in difference of two squares. So in difference of two squares, this is y minus 4 times y plus 4. Very good. And then plus, this is y minus 4. So I'm going to be putting it there. y minus 4 equal to 0. Now notice that y minus 4 is common. So we can factor out y minus 4. And then open a bracket. y minus 4 times y squared plus 4y plus 4 squared divided by y minus 4. This will give y squared plus 4y plus 4 squared. 4 squared is actually 16. Good. Plus y minus 4 times y plus 4 divided by y minus 4. I'll have y plus 4. So this is y plus 4. And then plus y minus 4 divided by y minus 4 is 1. And this is equal to 0. Very good. So now simplifying, we have y minus 4 times this is y squared and then let's add up like terms 4y plus y that is 5y and then 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 1 that's 21 so plus 21 and this is equal to 0 so we have two cases we have y minus 4 to be equal to 0 or we have y squared plus 4y plus 21 to be equal to 0. Now, for obvious reason, we can get the value of y from here by moving negative 4 to the right-hand side. So that y becomes, as negative 4 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 4. Now, we need our value of y to be a real number. So how do we know if this quadratic equation is going to give us a real value for y? We're going to check this discriminant. So from here, a is 1, b is 5, and c is 21. Now checking the discriminant, we use discriminant equal to b squared minus 4ac. On substituting, we get the discriminant to be b squared, that's 5 squared, minus 4 times a, a is 1, times c, c is 21. So discriminant now becomes 5 squared is 25, minus 4 times 1 times 21 is going to give you 84. 
and then on subtracting you see that the discriminant is going to be negative so there is no real solution from here so i'm going to be rejecting this and i'll be working with y equal to four so now let's go back to our substitution so now let's recall our substitution that we said let x to the 1 over 10 be equal to y and the valid solution for y that we got remember it is 4 so i'm going to be substituting 4 here so we have on the left we have x to the 1 over 10 to be equal to y y is 4 so in order for me to get the value of x I'll multiply the exponent on the left by 10. I'll also do the same thing to the right. Multiply by 10. Very good. The exponent. Now notice that this 10 can cancel out this 10, leaving behind x to the 1, which is the same as x, to be equal to 4 to the 10. So 4 to the 10. And this is our final solution. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.